Hey, what's up, YouTube? My name is Far, and this is episode 5 of the Minecraft Tutorial Epic Saga series. And uh, as you can see right now, in the earlier episode, we flattened out our land and made a fence, and this is a prime example of why we should do that. As you can see down there, I have two skeletons, a zombie, and a creeper. There is also another creeper down here, uh, another one over here, and a spider. I've already beat down one spider, but I am going to show you how to kill these things, uh, preferably the creepers, since everything else will die uh, when the sun comes out, but preferably how to beat the creepers so you can go down there and collect their stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to start here. And we are going to dig downward like this. I believe I'll do one more. Not really a lot of room here. But this is actually what is called a murder hole. And the reason for these is that you get a... Okay, I'm going to turn my volume down. These things are way too loud. You get a nice view of them without them getting a way to attack you. And yes, as you can see, we can see their feet. They cannot see us. So all we're going to do is attack them like this. And as you can see, they're pretty much just dying. And there you go. That is a murder hole. We are going to leave this open as I will be making a basement tonight. And I will be incorporating that. I want to show you really quick before we go out today what I've done to the house. I have made a second story, which is primarily a storage area, since you can never have enough. And a roof. And I just noticed right now that my light towers look like pencil dicks. And they're not supposed to. <laughs> They are as high as you can go in the air, so if I'm all around and I have my render distance to far, I will be able to spot them easily during the day and night and get home without getting lost. So yes, we need to make a farm, and to make a farm, oh boy, come on, come on, I know you're sad, I'm going to be your friend, alright, it's going to be okay, I got cookies, I got donuts, I got whatever you need, I have candy in my basement. Come on. Come on. A little bit closer. A little bit closer. Just come a little bit closer. Yes, I want to hit your penis. <coughs> and that was stupid. Take a quick look around. Be sure there's nothing else. Or else we will be screwed. And collect the stuff. It is not necessarily, you know, precisely. It's not really useful at this point. But it's a good thing to use. So we need to create iron ingots today because we are, well, if we have no iron ingots and we need a way to get water up to our farm area that we're going to make. I just spotted a nice little coal vein here. If you see a coal vein, if you see any vein of any mineral or resource besides regular stone, take the time out of your day, go in there and get it because you never know what is going to be useful on your adventure in Minecraft. So iron is not commonly found above sea level, so I don't know if we will be able to find any today. Oh boy, not going down there. Oh boy, not going down there either. But we are going to explore a couple of caves in the vain attempt of hoping to find at least three so we can make a bucket. Now this is actually nice. Wow. This goes on. Well, maybe not. Now it ends. This is very nice. We could build a farm down here if we really need to. Let's see. There's another bone. Bones can be ground up into bone meal. And the bone meal can then be used to make dye. Which has no real purpose yet. You can dye wool and make it different colors. Uh, it does look cool. It helps with the decorating. The, you know, the personal... Perso personification, personification, I don't know what the word is, to, uh, to your old house. Now, I'm not going to bother to get these ores because I do 
see that they are easily accessible from my house and I do not want to waste the time right now. I see a skeleton up there. That is going to be a cave I'm going to explore today too. We are early in the day so we are just going to explore the caves around us and if we don't find them I will fast forward to a time when I do have them. There's got to be at least one at least one vein around here. The chance of not finding a vein is extremely small. Did I bring torches? Yes. Be very careful when exploring because these dark places are frequently visited by shit. Oh shit. Oh good god. Fuck my life. Yeah, come on. Are you just gonna stand there? Get a nice tan? I guess he's just gonna stand there and get a tan. So we're gonna wait until the guard there is done tanning. Oh, now, now it's not enough for him. There we go. That's right. Alright, let's go. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, sh oh, my good god. Well, I guess I will show you how to deal with these things. Yeah, that's pretty much how you deal with them. Don't die. Alright. Good God, there's got a... Ooh. Scary music. There we go. Well, I suppose in the end it was well worth it. But I am definitely marking this cave as a possible scary, scary place that I do never want, do not ever want to visit again. And I got five out of that vein, which is a not bad. Five is pretty much, you know, it's lucky for being this high up here. And wow, it ends. They were just kind of camping down here like a bunch of noobs. Oh, going back to my Black Ops days. Alright, well, we have enough. We'll only be able to make one pail, but there is water extremely close to us, so we can make two trips. And while I'm out here, I'm running kind of low on food. Ah, there we go. Hi there. Perfect. We're going to go back home, and I wanted to show you guys quickly what snowballs do. You use Q to... Wait, no, you don't use Q. You use the right mouse button to throw it, and you can throw it at... You can throw it at all mobs, it does zero damage, and it is pretty effective for pushing mobs off cliff, cliffs, etc, etc. Nothing there. I think we're done playing Cave Explorer for today. Yeah, we definitely have to get started on our farm. But luckily, the way we made our mountain uh, house resort thing, we can work well into the night. And if we hear a spider, we can just shit our pants and run into the house. Because that is normally what I do. And I'm still holding my balls, so I'm going to throw them off there. There we go. It's not a good thing to be holding your balls, especially when you're climbing uh, mountains like this. Because holding your balls can lead to bigger problems. Uh, I'm going to come up here really quick, get some coal. Put the coal in here. Heat up the iron ore. That will create iron ingots. Now we are going to create a hoe. Because, trust me, you can never have enough hoes. I've seemed to have... Oh, what the... Yeah, I'm trying to use dirt to create a hoe. God, I'm stupid. There we go. Got a shovel. We'll need one more shovel, too. Irrigation system. Alright, let's get started on the... Close this door. Let's get started on the farm we're going to have back here. Hello. This is going to be ah oh, pooey. Oh. All right, pooey. Yeah, this is a uh, problem with what I did earlier to save time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two. Three. Oh crap! Oh, never mind. Wow. 
I did not see that stone. I thought it was going to fall through and gave myself a heart attack. I was like, oh lord, if I fall through on national television, what am I going to do? Alright, so now that we have our irrigation ditch dug out, what you want to do is on the grass, take your hoe and right click. What is What will happen is you will till the earth and it will then be plantable. And some of the time, I think it's one tenth of the time, you will get seeds. Be sure not to do what I'm doing right here, which is stepping on it, because the more you step on it, it will until itself. That's not a good thing. We're just going to go quickly outside our home here, because we only have five seeds, and a lot more seeds would be very nice. Till dirt will eventually become untilled, so if it doesn't look good, oh well. Getting a lot of seeds now. 14. Gotta love high sensitivity. Do 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 do. I'm having a seizure. Come on, where are the seeds? Gotta be. Oh, there we go. There's one. Three more will do it. And that's what happens when you walk on it too much. It becomes untilled with no grass. There we go. Okay, now that we have 20 seeds, we need to quickly create our bucket. Go get some water. And we will be ready to create a farm. Go in for the night. I'll explain a couple more things when we're inside for the night. To create a bucket, use an iron ingot in the shape of a V or a U. That's it. Well, that's pretty much it for creating a bucket. I see. I'm gonna go over there again to that underground water thing. Quickly get a bucket of water. I'm pretty sure we're gonna need two. So it's kind of in a race against the clock here. Right click when you're holding the bucket on the water, and you get your water inside the bucket. Same thing to let it out. You right click and it goes out of the bucket. I plan on putting steps here, which uh, steps I will explain uh, when it is nighttime. I'm going to close this just in case we're getting too close to night. As you can see, I haven't planted anything. Oh, crap. I have not planted anything and it is getting too dry. So it is untilling itself, which is not a good thing. We need to quickly get out here and get one more bucket of water. Don't you just love this? Living on the edge, yeah, I'm living on the edge. Zombie could spawn anywhere, and then you could all laugh at me for being stupid and spending so much time trying to find iron. Or as my friend Mugglewump, who does get mad at me sometimes for saying this, he calls it iron, and that's because he's foreign. So, yeah, <laughs> what do you guys call it? Do you guys call it iron or iron? Let me know, I want to, uh... I want to present him with this evidence of how it is really called. Alright, we are going to quickly till this. And the darkened dirt means that it is hydrated dirt. And that is a good thing because it grows faster in hydrated dirt. It also does need light to grow. You can't take all these lights out of here and just be like LOL, LOL. You do need to have some form of light. And we are not going to have enough seeds, but it will serve its purpose. There you go, that is that is that. Let's see if I can quickly get some more seeds from up here. Wow. I picked a terrible mountain. Look at this. They, oh my god. I destroyed half my front yard just to get one seed. Talk about unlock. Holy crap. Mountain hates me. There we go. Now uh, we can plant a full garden. And then we will come back to this next episode. And see how our little babies are growing up so quickly. Put a little bit more light out here because it is dark. I'm going to do this in a nice uniform pattern. You will see all throughout these series, or this series, that I am more concerned with the 
geometry of certain things than anything else. I don't know why, it's just who I am. Sorry. You guys, you don't have to make it a perfect square. You can make an oblong or whatever you want. It does not matter. Okay, so now that we are inside, I am going to show you one last thing. I was talking about steps. This is a step. You can quickly go up without having to jump up and down like you do out here. Whereas you see, you can't go forward. You have to jump up one. Shush you. And I see a spider, which is not a good thing. Come on. Come on, spider. Come on. Come on. Come on. I can show the viewing audience what it's like for spiders to crawl up the side of your house. It'd scare the shit out of you. Make sure I have enough to create a cobblestone step or wood. You can use wood as well. I will be using wood for the outside. Simply make it in a step formation just like that and you will get four stairs. That is what I used for my entire walkway up here and what I will be using for outside. And this spider does not appear like it's going to cooperate. And I look at this. I'm already collecting mobs which, you know, this is a great beginning mob spawner. And we will definitely, definitely get into more advanced and automatic mob spawners because it is extremely fun to watch thousands of mobs die at once and collect all their shit. So that is it. Uh, take this time to expand on your house. If you don't have your farm built, go ahead and build it. Uh, if you have all that, you know, you can just take a take a rest or break some windows. They're only don't, don't break windows. It's not a nice thing to do. But I will see you next time where we will be checking our crops. And, hmm, what will we do next time? I don't know. I guess you'll just have to uh, tune in and find out. See you guys.